After being stalled for years, state and federal leaders believe the expansion of the Second Avenue subway is finally going to get the green light, but the federal government still has to approve three new stations in East Harlem. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas was there as Governor Hochul went down into the tunnel for a tour. Excavated in the 1970s, this tunnel for the expansion of the Second Avenue subway has remained dormant. With the most recent proposal stalled during the Trump administration, Governor Hochul, along with members of the congressional delegation, said the plans are finally ready to take off. Ladies and gentlemen, next stop, 125th Street. Yeah. The first phase, completed in 2017, extended the Q train from Lexington Avenue at 63rd Street to 96th Street. Phase two would add three new stations at 106th, 116th, and 125th Streets in East Harlem, an area that's currently described as a transit desert. This is the most transit-dependent community in the city of New York. 70% of residents use public transportation to get to work versus the citywide average of 55 percent. The infrastructure package signed by President Biden last week allows for $23 billion in new funding for transit expansion projects, and this one would qualify. But the federal government still has to approve the plan that comes with an often criticized $6.3 billion price tag, far more than phase one. You got to look at how many people it serves. By the standards of a riders, this is an incredibly efficient project. And project delays just add to the price tag. That's why Governor Hochul wants to expedite the process, with the MTA pledging the expansion would be complete six to eight years after construction begins. In East Harlem, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News.